Hello, Jonah Louis. Hi, Lewis. How are, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Yourself? Excellent. Yeah, not too bad at all. Fantastic. Um, Jonah, in 1977, you signed to Stiff Records, um, who also signed acts like Elvis Costello, Ian Drury, and many more. But when did you get your big break in the music industry? Well, um, it depends at what level we're talking about, really. One, one gets, you know, mini breaks from time to time, bigger breaks at other times, and Stiff Records was certainly a, 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 a good break to get. Um, another really great break to get was, was earlier than that, in 1972, when, luckily enough, um, a record that had gone out um, uh, didn't do that well, then was picked up a year later by just a, a series of coincidences, um, and, and, and through that kind of luck became a, a, a big hit. And so that was another big break. And the song we just played a minute ago, which is actually one of my favourite songs, is In the Kitchen at Parties, which made a top 20. How did you feel when, you know, you made the charts with, with your music? Well, by that time, uh, having had that first big break sort of some eight years ago, when we also did Top of the Pops, um, the, the Kitchen at Party one, when that went into the charts and, we, and, and, I, and I did uh, Top of the Pops again, was amazing cause it was like sort of wow i'm back in front of these cameras again eight years later you know and um, most recently the song was probably best known for seen in a ki for a certain um kitchens company and you were also in the advert as well which sees two guys in a party walking through different stylish kitchens when you were asked a pro approach to be part of that advert you know how did you feel about that I felt really good. I mean, it's uh, also, the, the music business has changed an awful lot, and synchronizations now is one of the, the central features of the music business. Um, live gigs, of course, has, has become a growth industry over the last five years or so, or ten years, um, to, to replace what was the most important thing at one time, actual CD sales or record sales, but they've kind of plummeted. And so to get a synchronization is very valuable. It, I didn't get it, of course. My publishing company did. And they, I think, the, the kitchen company, uh, IKEA, they actually asked if they could use that track. And it's, it's in a great advert, and we see you at the start of the advert as well. But um, another project you're currently working on, we just spoke from Pete um, from the Glitter Band. You're going to be touring with the Glitter Band, and your first day, I assume, is tonight in Southampton. That's right. And how are you feeling about that? Are you excited about going back on tour? Oh, yes, I'm looking forward to it. And, and you know, uh, the, the, they're a great bunch of, of musicians as well, the, the Glitter Band, and we, we've had one rehearsal, <laughs> and it's just going to be great. <laughs> so it's going to be a great show. But you're probably best known um, for the Christmas song, which is my favourite Christmas song, Stop the Cavalry, which reached number three in the UK charts. Was that always meant to be a Christmas song? No, it wasn't. Um, it, lyrically, it was kind of just ventured for some reason into the world of like war and peace um and um in in the lyric there's one line which refers to the soldier wanting to be at home for christmas and so i think the record company thought you know uh, the, the, the best way to market this particular record will be to to release it at christmas time but, you know, you must be proud of that, though, because the song, you know, it has become an icon iconic song. Everybody knows the song. It's played every single Christmas. Is, is, that must be something, you've, you know, you're very proud of. It's unbelievable. And will you be having any upcoming projects on the way? A new album? Can, is there a new single we can expect from you? There are upcoming projects, and I hope to be... Um, uh, I'm, I'm mastering a new album very shortly, either in January or February and the artwork um, is all ready to go, uh, and so that would be a release later in the year, next year. Great, and we will hopefully be able to play some of the tracks from that. And, you know, because obviously you've worked on many different projects, been involved in different stuff, for you, what is your career highlight? Do you have a highlight which stands out for you? It's a tricky question, really, but, but definitely one highlight was when I was asked to play um, sort of blues and and boogie piano for a singer called Arthur Big Boy Crudup and he happened to um, be an old blues singer from the USA and who had written a song called That's Alright Mama which was the first song Elvis Presley ever recorded 
back then, those days, Elvis Presley was kind of a, 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 a sort of an early rock and roll singer, which tapped very heavily on old blues uh, material. And Arthur B. Boy tried up wrote that, uh, and I was delighted and honoured to to be able to play um, with him on when he was making an album. So, so for you, that would be one of the highlights of your career. I think it would, to be honest. Uh, obviously, you know, um, Stop the Cavalry is a major highlight, and uh, any any of the, the things I've done that have been able to uh, have the good fortune of you know becoming sort of chart um, chart songs, uh, I've always been extremely um, pleased with, and 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 they've all been highlights as well, you know. And a, l- a little bit earlier on, you said that you appeared on top of the pops. Is that correct? Yes, that is true, yes. And that must be a great thing, because you think of the different acts who who have actually performed on the Top of the Pops. When you were asked to do that, you must have been over the moon, I would imagine. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and again, that would be a major highlight. The first time I ever went in, uh, on to Top of the Pops, in a way, was a, was a marker in your career. It was a landmark. Uh, and when I went... Uh, again, you know, as I said earlier in, on in our interview, eight years later, that was another landmark, you know. And, and getting onto Top of the Pops was always seen in the UK industry, music industry, as being a major um, um, achievement. Joan and Louis, it's been absolutely great speaking to you. I've always wanted to get you on the show. And good luck with tonight's performance with the Glitter Band. Thank you very much, Louis. It was great talking to you. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye.